What is hello, up, hello. y'all? Hey, everybody. It's Friday Eve. What's up, Window Lickers? Window Lickers and Paste <laughs> Eaters Anonymous. My name's Chris, and I'm a window licker. What's happening? I need a pillow. Oh, that one is looking a little funky. I know, yes. That's got a little shit on it. <laughs> yeah, what is up? Zachary, Cat in the House, Steve. Hey, y'all. Um, is Christy here? I heard she had COVID. Yeah, we hear Christy might have the Rona. She went out and caught the Rona. She's not around too many people. Uh, yeah, that's a fact, <laughs> Jack. <laughs> we have not been. Kentucky, I will say, is a sparsely populated state, at least outside of the, the couple of cities they have. Yeah, Bowling um, Green was big. We were in... Bowling Green? No. Hindman. I don't know why I can never remember that name. Hindman, Kentucky, which is in the east. The first expo. And uh, that is... That's that's in the hollers. Like, yeah. that's Appalachia stand up there. Yeah, to say the least. The very it's... least. So that was makes you like your life. Yeah, yeah, it makes you happy. You don't live <laughs> really just looking at the ground everywhere you look, even up. Um, and then we uh, went to Bowling Green. Right. Lots of people there. I don't know who their traffic planners were for Bowling Green, oh, but yeah. those motherfuckers oh, don't know how to lay out a city. Lots of lefts. Driving. Lots of lefts. No, lo lots of no lefts. Oh no, was it? No. Yeah, it was oh, lots was of no lefts. lefts. Uh, no. <laughs> And then no U-turns. So you can't make a left-hand turn and you can't make a fucking U-turn. Yeah. How do I get over there? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but now we're in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Bowling Green, the KOA. Hey, there. John. Yes, we did. Bro. Yeah, we're in the we're in the KOA down over here in, in uh, Nashville, too. Nashville. Um, Which we haven't seen much of. Yeah, we got in. We had to run a couple little errands. And now we've got to get start getting ready for tomorrow because i got to be at the studio at like 8 30 in the morning so yeah i had to go get my nails did for that yeah. james yeah kentucky is pretty like this area yeah the western kentucky the eastern kentucky man well you're just back there in them hollers i can't I, that don't work for me i don't like that and all you see are mobile homes piled up with cars and garbage yeah that's all that was that's all yeah, yeah i mean was. it was wasn't pretty over there it wasn't pretty um it was sparsely populated Tennessee, I like this part of Tennessee. Uh, I wouldn't live here, but I do like this part. Um, I'd have to find that happy ground where we start moving east till we find the level of hills we want. Right. Without too much. Right. So that's, that's the thing. I do like mountains, though. We love the mountains. I want to see the mountains. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live here. Heath Whittle, where the hell you and been so long, bro? Shit. And uh, yeah, John, I will be, we'll be there tomorrow. Um, we go do this thing with so for those of you watching, if you live in the Nashville area, and I'll try to put a link up to this later tonight. Right, you said you had one. Um, there, I'm gonna be on um, some TV thing called Nashville or Today in Nashville. Today in Nashville, it'll air at 2:30 mm -hmm. tomorrow, and I will be in studio with them, and I'll put it all up on Facebook for you guys here in a little bit, so you know if you want to try to watch it. Of course, we gotta be there at 8:30. Yeah, Ethan says I have my coworkers addicted to your books. One started one Monday. And finished it today. Nice. <laughs> Mia Brown in the house. What's up, hey. man? Hey. Hey. Mountain readiness. There's tea in the house. And let me see. Let me do this. Let me go. We don't need to see ourselves. We need to see comments. Oh, my God. Yeah. I have <laughs> friends who live north of Nashville in the country. Got a pond and lamp. Nice, James. Jason Dyson from Canookistan. What is up, my friend? A 24-hour ambulance tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Damn it, boy. Well, I hope I don't see you tomorrow, John. <laughs> Northeast Georgia Mounds. We'll be over that way, Heath. I gotta go see Allen next week. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be uh we're gonna be in the Blairsville area. metro area. Which yeah. saying Blairsville Metro is just hilarious to me. Guy the house, guy, how's your how's how's Christy, man? We hear she's got the Rona. Yeah, she's sick. We heard she caught cooties. <laughs> I hope she gets over it. Yeah. We're going to have a little get-together at our place. On the first Saturday we get back, which is 420, so we're going to have a party. Anyway. 
Would you, you like know. to? Yeah, please. Thank you. There you go. Is that camera even looking at you anymore? Yeah, I guess no, I still it still sees. Was... Well, I got the picture blown up real big, so I guess I can't do it I there. Only at my boobs. It's re-edited. <laughs> well, no, it was because I had the screen mag blown up so we could read right. it. Right, so you could read it, right. So we can read it. Right. Normally, I can't. Dee Dee Bryant in the house. What is up? Give me a call. Yeah, Heath, I'll let you know. We're going to be a little busy. Um, we got work to do for Alan. So we're going to. T's coming up. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys can hear me. T's coming up. And uh, three of us are going to try to knock some shit out for him. Joanna Wallace in the house. How the hell are you doing, Joanna? Hey, how are you? And Guy says that she is. Surviving. That's your husband. Oh, good. Tell her we said hello. And we'll see you guys. On the 20th. The People's Socialist Republic of Minnesota. Why do you want to go to Little Somalia? Like, I wouldn't go there. Diana Rogers in the house. What is up? So, yeah, we're going to be in Nashville, do this thing in the morning. And then we're heading to Camden, Good where we will right. set the camper up real fast at another campground. Uh -huh. And then run over to the venue and um, to okay. SOE and un set unload up. everything. Just, I'm just going to unload. Right. Uh, second reading of the series, Jackie Squires, and I'm glad you enjoyed him. We will be seeing the <laughs> yeah. thunder. Yes. I told John, I hope I, Kim Pine in the house. What is up? Uh, I, I said to John, I hope I'll see you tomorrow because he said he's working a 24 hour ambulance shift. And he's like, You won't, I'm not in that county. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't really make me feel better, bro. Uh, let me see, made it two days in a row. The world was ending, yeah, right. Yeah, Heath, I'll tell him, hey, man. Um, that's his name in my phone. Yeah, Vanilla yeah, that's Thunder. Bill. That's, that's Anna's uh, call sign on her Hi. phone is Vanilla Thunder. <laughs> Chris Singletary in the house. Hey, bro, I got your radio sorted, by the way. Uh, you're good to go when I get home. Uh, Lake County, uh, all Lake County, and then Stark should be there, and we should be good to go. And then we got to get an antenna built for you and get it put up, and then we're going to see what we can do between each other. Mm -hmm. And Jason, yes, we did. We got uh, we got a place. Tell your wife hello for me. I miss you guys. I meant to text you today, Chris. I will later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is up, Patrick? Well, we're just chilling in Nashville, man. So you know. Yeah, we didn't know we were going to do this either, uh, Patrick, oh. until about two hours. Well, because on the road, I forgot the Starlink because I'm just fucking prone to forgetfulness. And so we're running off a hot spot tonight. It's sitting over there. This campground has internet, but my computer won't connect to it. Or wait, or did I? Am I connected to it here? Well, you're obviously on something. No, I'm on. Fuck with it. I'm yelling at like that. Don't mess with um, it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> we are on the hot spot tonight. He Chris says it's cold here. How's the weather up there? Been raining, windy, lot. Dude, we drove through where a tornado passed through in Kentucky today. Yeah. Uh, like right across the interstate, it just went right across it. And but yeah, it's it's been chilly. I mean, we got the heat on in here. I mean, we haven't really been able Corey to see much house. news about what's going on in Kentucky, but apparently there was a lot of tornadoes. Um, I talked to one kid, and they were like, "Oh yeah, how are you? I hear there's a lot of tornadoes. Are you okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, no, nobody called to check, but." Huntsville, Ethan, which Huntsville? Narrow that down for me, dude, because I would love to stop by Giga Parks. I got some stuff I want. Uh, I got running at the front door. <laughs> running the still at the front door. Very nice, Jason. We need a still. Chris, we will be home. About the 15th. Ish, I'm counting. Ish. Heavy on the yet. ish. We yeah. don't know yet. Corey's in the house. Let me see. Hey, Corey. Mario. Come down, Mel. Your spills on the. <laughs> you have the heater on? Oh, my. Yeah, we do. It's fucking 49 degrees up here right now. It's a little chilly. Alabama. Tex in the house. Tex McBride. Tex in the house. What the hey, Tex. What How's, is up, brother? How's Wyoming? Yeah, man. We want to come out there in like July. There's Tex. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, June or. Yeah. End not of June. June. No, not the first end of June. First part of we're July. Boston. Yeah, yeah, I know. Boston. Yeah. And my daughter keeps something. texting us about doing a taxidermy class for a uh, rat. And I'm like, why? I don't want to do that. She's like, you don't want to make it look like a stripper on a strip pole, mom? I thought you would. And I'm like, can I? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I could do that, I might be interested. <laughs> Corey says hi. 
Hey, Meta and Meta. Kelly. Freaking lovely here right now, but a bad winter storm is coming this weekend. Yeah. Artie Robbins, what's up, dude? That's all right. You're in the comments, Artie. You can say that. And we're 30 seconds in. I can say it, too. Uh, you guys need to make it to Michigan. You keep saying something. Someday, Patrick. Some, someday. Uh, someday I'll come up there and fuck with Joe. And Hopefully others. in July. Oh, my cousin's in the house. What up, Jeff? Hopefully in July we'll get on the road and head west and hit Wyoming. I want to go to Utah. I want to see Salt Lake. I got to talk to them, them people in Montana and Idaho and see if they want to do this thing or we'll not. find out. And, you know, July, August... September, we want to be up in those areas. Gary and... Bat. Hello, Gary. No, no, that was terrible. You're laughing at me right now. I want to go to his house and shoot his gun. We want to stop by Gary's in Kansas and hang out with Gary. Shoot his I don't care about again. his guns. I just want to hang out with Gary because I love him. Well, yeah, of course. I love Gary. Man and Kelly got an inch <laughs> of snow last night. Where? An inch of snow? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Mel, you really don't want to go to Utah. <laughs> We like Utah to visit, Tex. I've been to, to Salt visit. Lake. Yeah. Uh, I heard today Colorado is now calling so-called assault weapons attack weapons. Attack weapons. Well, because if you make the name scary, Assault's you can make not it. bad enough. Yeah. Assault, attack. What's... Uh, it's, it's stupid. It's just uh, semantics, as they say. Hey, Jeff. How are you? Jeff Johnson. Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. We're going to try to get out west later this year. Oh, yeah. This, this summer. So. Yeah, we want to go to her place. Definitely. It is the damn lefty senators. Oh, I know. it's the, But, you know, then people are getting elected, Kim. That's our problem. Jeremy in the house. What up, brother? Um, yeah, so we'll uh, get the cannon thing knocked out. Then we'll be in Blairsville. Then we go home. A little bit. For like 10 days. <laughs> Yeah, I'm calling my doctor. I'm like, I need an appointment to see you. I'm going to be in town for this many days. What can we do? That's it. Uh, we have to leave, and we have Mount Randiness in May. Uh, yeah, Christy. Trying to get out of that rain hey, thing. Christy. I knew there was a reason for it. Ezra Hi, Lupton, Christy. what is up, buddy? How the hell are you doing, man? Is there really only five in here? Nah, there's more than that. Let me see what the total is. I already I'll tell you. Uh, like 77, 80, something like that. So, what'd Christy say? Um, I don't know. Oh. My bad. I hit the wrong button. Um, Christy said, Pete said me getting Rona is some dedication to not have to do Russ Sawyer AR test. What AR test? <laughs> he was going to work with her on the range. Oh, they the oh. They're going, oh, yeah. you know, they're going out of right. Yeah. Gary, thank you, Gary. Tell Mel to quit smoking. She really should stop. Bad for you. It's a bad habit. It's we all have habit. our bad habits. Uh, don't do that. I got. I'm just gonna look. I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. You're my boss. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Oh, what? you my mama now? You gonna tell me what it is now? Nah. I'm gonna say I'm enjoying the second book. All right, that's good, Ezra. Candy Camden is very methy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you get a lot of that up this way, Jason. I think that's, uh, you know, we drove through Mesopotamia coming here uh -huh. for sure. Uh -huh. Artie, I don't know what's up, man. You're don't know, bro. Can't tell you. Maybe you uh, have angered the Facebook gods. Oh. And they're not. Uh, most people are watching on YouTube. Actually, yeah. most looks like they're on Facebook. Well, yeah. some are in both. So. Yeah, it depends some, on what you're smoking. Yeah, as to where you're at, I guess. So Franklin, Tennessee has lots of cool Civil War history. Yes, they do, Ethan. Well, yes, they do. Matthew Waiting. Oh, Wat Watling from Guthrie, Oklahoma. What is up, man? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. We don't have to go back there. But we will, we will be back for sure. Mean. I know we will be. Yeah. I need to sacrifice a chicken or something. <laughs> Chris says it's about to get in hot tub with a beverage. Oh, I'm about to. Okay, oh. I'll be back once I settle it. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Fornicate yourself, Chris. Nice free hot tub you have. Huge. Yeah, yeah. Nice free hot tub you guys have. That was a hell of a score. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
love to hear the audiobook done by Graphic Audio. What audiobook? Oh, Graphic Audio, yes. So, we're, I'm, I'm, ex I'm beginning to explore doing a graphic novel. Right. Turning it into Turning the books into a graphic novel, so I'm working on that at the moment. You know, we'll um, be into that. Yeah. I barely read a novel. Uh, graphic novels have pictures, right? Yes, they do. Oh, that would be for, more fun. Yes, okay. <laughs> Patrick, you're the man. Yeah, so it'll be like comic book kind of style, is, but it'll be like thick. You know, it'll be yeah. thick graphic novels. That's okay. how The Walking Dead got started. It was just right. a graphic novel. Oh. And it turned into what it turned into. Grant, hey, dude, sorry. Hey, you texted Grant. me earlier, and I haven't even read it yet. I'm sorry. I've been busy. But I will after I get off here. Uh, Chris, yeah, well, so... By Monday, I think the contracts will be ready for the new lawyer because I haven't hired a new lawyer. So that's uh, sort of five thousand dollars I got to shell out uh, on Caps Future Conflict about the graphic novel concept. But yeah, yeah, me and Scott are talking. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk movies and I get some movies made. So Monday, I should have the contract for the new you. lawyer, and then uh, we'll get that done and send them a fucking check, and then they'll get to work. Um, I'm still waiting to find out how much of my money my previous lawyer is sitting on and trying to get that back from him. Uh, but, you know, getting money back from a lawyer is like taking candy from a fat kid. Uh, they're going to make it hard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Matthew Walling, Walling talking about doing an Origins book. I've thought of it. We are going to do, for sure, a Dalton Origin and probably the Three Musketeers Origin. Sorry. Sort of. Sorry, and then uh, maybe, you know. That's something. Three musky queers. Yeah, three musky queers. The two, the two musky queers. Oh, no, no. Right. No. Is Sarge considered? Morgan calls them the three musky queers. Morgan calls them that. Oh, I didn't. I'm only on book five. Again, this had a new sippy right cup. <laughs> this, yes, I was. I was um I got this in New Orleans to go with his shirt that uh -huh. he has. Yeah. Yeah. And um I was sitting in the nail salon today and this lady sit next to me for like 30 minutes and she's like, um, can I ask you a question? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah. She's like, I hate to if I just have to. She's like, Are those boobies on your cup? And I was like Nick yeah. Russell, what she's up? She's like, I thought they may be rabbit ears or something, and I was like, No, no, they're boobies. Said I like boobies way more than rabbit ears. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> she even read the story, <laughs> right? Right, Tex. Uh, as a marine, I would like to see Ian's backstory up to falling in with the National Guard. You never know. I'm gonna. There's a, there's so much to do there. Potential, you know. Yeah. Well, it's Ronnie, Ronnie Mike, and, and it is Ronnie, Mike, and Ted, the three musky queers. Oh, Ronnie, Mike, yeah. and Ted. Yes. And that was yeah. Matthew pointing that out very well. But that's Thank what you. that's what Morgan always calls them is the three musky queers. Right. It was Ronnie. That's yeah. what I'm forgetting. Uh, I have a couple <laughs> friends that wanted to know what author to read. Had to think to carefully suggest authors. Their LDS, fairly recent friends, I'm not sure where they stand on language of books. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, good luck, Diane. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Stevens, what is up? Is Pete's milder a little bit? Yeah. yeah it's like, which... So I have beverages, mason jars. Be careful, glass breaks when you drop it. Yeah, Jason, for sure. Listen to them all four times. Russell Sage in the house. Dude, what the hell's going on, man? How you been? Was hanging out with uh, EJ Snyder the other day. Oh, nice. Uh, Who was? I'm talking to Russell Sage. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Yes, Duke is still doing the narrations, Brian. We're sticking with C.J. Sherman in the house. He won't change Duke, not for this series, anyway. Won't change what? Duke for this. Series. Oh no! Yeah, uh, yeah. He's around. Yeah, yeah living the dream. <laughs> I don't know about living the dream, Russell, but you know we were doing it. Hey, Nick Russell. Yeah, they're <laughs> either they'll either enjoy the books or I'll quickly lose friends. <laughs> They just warn them. Friends just that warn you them. don't want anyway. Who knows? You know. <laughs> just warn them that the language can be a little harsh. Right. It's like it's like real life. 
this is like not your religious sect. It's like real life, like normal people out there. <laughs> you know, just tell them that. <laughs> well, they don't want to be like normal people. That's well, no, they, they don't. Yeah. I'm just saying the book is like oh. normal people yeah. out, you know, in real life. Nice. You know. <laughs> Nightmares and dreams, too. <laughs> Russell is good. Uh, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Now load them with up. Tried to do a repeat. Got, uh, oh, nice. Got my CB net put together. I've handed out seven of my 11 radios, and we covered from southeast Michigan and just north of Flint. Wow. Working on getting some linear, oh, linear, linear amplifiers. And good antennas for the points of the net so we can cover long distances. Hell yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Third interview with Boston MedFlight. Hopefully, I'll be doing critical care soon. Nice. Still run some 911 on my day. Too. Nice, Brian. MedFlight, huh? I mean, that's fun, but mm, that's also scary. I know, Chris. We were supposed to be I there know. for we're midget, midget wrestling. To midget wrestling too. Yeah. We're not going to be there. And it's April 5th, too. We're not going to be there. Yeah. It's going to happen again. We'll, be, again. we'll be there. We'll be there for the next one. <laughs> Um, all right, there you go, what? Patrick. You got another Michigan militia guinea in there. Uh, book is not our level of fuckery right now. Which book? Book. Oh, Pete's book. Which book? I don't know. She, I don't know. <laughs> it's an open statement that can be interpreted. I don't read a lot of books, you know. I haven't read Pete's books yet either, although I hear they're amazing. Um, I'm still on his series again, so. Well, I'm glad she's all right, Kat. The cussing. Oh, so. oh, well, good, good. I got a buddy up and on the subject of book recommendations, do you or any of you have a good recommendation for the EMP type theme? For Christian Catholic homeschooling co-op. Wow, no, I don't. No, um, we did not. We not. I don't know of anything that would be friendly enough that I would recommend uh -uh. for that audience. <laughs> uh, let's see, Pete's are really good at getting better with each book. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow! All right. Yeah, jokes, folks. Thank you. You're sleeping in the truck tonight. <laughs> that, that is not going to happen. <laughs> Download the audiobooks. Smays, no, it's only through Audible, man. That's the only way you can do them. What about the last Babylon? We like that book. It's... Phil Howie, that's hilarious, dude. What? He says, on my research trip to Florida, we came on her sets, your guide, pointing out highlights Morgan's journey as they were historical, as if they were historical sites, oh. <laughs> pointing out stuff from the book. With who? Who was he with? Nice. He was just with some, I don't know. I want to read the first book. Yeah, that was great. I read a lot in this genre and I'm hitting walls. Yeah, Brian, I'm sorry, dude. That's going to be tough to fill. Uh, he's not your level, but give him time. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm always working on something. I might try to work tonight. We'll see. I got I to gotta work some sometime. Uh, yeah, there's more coming. Book 13 will be out later this year. I got another project I'm working on right now, and I got a whole new thing I'm wanting to try to get out this year, too, but we're going to see how it goes. I am not that distracting. He's, he can work. Oh, whatever. Whatever he wants. Yeah, that's what you say. <laughs> you can oh, yes. Still work. I have yes, derail is right. Je look up Jeff Motes. Uh, Brian Jeff Motes is a good dude. I know him. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. didn't pull him out of my head. I ain't talked mm -hmm. to him in a while. Yeah, has been I'm asked sure and I missed the response. But when will the next book from Morgan go? It'll be later this year, man. That's the best I can give you right now. Yeah, with your wife and daughter in the heart. There is a post apocalyptic group dedicated to clean novels, little no cussing, uh huh, yeah. sexy time, etc. Can't remember the name right now. Yeah, that's not a realistic world. That's why I don't. Do that. Not, yeah. Uh, let me see. David Foster Duran in the north and Howell in the middle. First point would be Dexter. Oh, okay. For his Michigan net. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So there you go. Jeff Motes. Look him up, Brian. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
I'm tired. He's in Alabama. What do you love Alabama? Um, What's illegal in Alabama? Everything. <laughs> raccoons, maybe. Yeah, raccoons are definitely illegal in Alabama. So, um, last night, can I tell um, No, I said no. I said no, not yet. No, no, no. May. You, you, you can say something in May. I'm going to have in May. No, you won't. What? You don't get it until June. No, that's not true. They, they, they oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. They give birth. <laughs> uh, fucking shoot me. Just shoot me, somebody. You paid for it. You bought it. You did no, it. No, you did it. You did it. You did it. You told me to. I only did it because you said yes. No, 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 no. This is a total lie. He's lying. Mm -hmm. I only, the, but I, I might have got a prairie dog or a raccoon. I mean, I really would like the kinkajou. She really wants every fucking animal on the face of the earth. No, you you want a marmot um, or... I just thought they were cute. I didn't say I wanted one. Um, Matthew... Hang on, let me answer this question. Uh, dude, just start writing, man. Don't do EMP. Do something else. Be original. Like, everybody else is doing it. Don't do that. Do what CME. Do that? nuclear exchange. Do yeah. whatever. Financial collapse. Do the one. rising up of the mm -hmm. dormant insurgent army that's building inside our country oh, yeah. right now. It's do right that. You know? yeah. That's a great story. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you doing that? I either? paroled <laughs> Mel. Chrissy says I paroled Mel. <laughs> Is that why I got a new critter? <laughs> yeah, that's your parole, she's saying. Because you remember? I was I was for 10 years. Yeah, but you wouldn't stop asking. You just keep asking and asking. I don't ask all the time. That is not, look, don't make me out that like that kind of. I'm not saying you ask every day, but you're always looking at the animals and looking at videos of animals and getting all teary eyed every time she sees a pretty critter. That's not true. I... You? What? what? I mean, it, if you're talking about raccoons, yes, maybe. Her prairie dogs are cute. Her dogs and cats. Oh, my God. <laughs> Howler monkey. You're not helping, Dennis. I, Jeff Johnson do zombies. Oh, yeah. Here's this, too, guys. So, Pete and I are doing a collaborative shirt. So, it's oh, uh, yes, yeah. his logo on one sleeve, mine on the other. And it says, we're the tribe your mama warned you about. I almost wore that shirt. There's tonight. special not order. Shirt, but. Yeah, you got to order them. You got you to gotta pre-order them mm -hmm. before we even put the order in. Because we're not going to lose well, our ass on a big t-shirt deal that don't go nowhere. Right. Um, so email Russ and mm -hmm. he'll get you on the list. Yeah. Let me see. Trump will pardon Mel. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bet I could get him too. You know, if I, well, yeah, Jeff, I, I thought about a dog pardon. do an earthquake after an eclipse. Fuck him. <laughs> That's going to happen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where are we uh, going to see that? What? Earthquake after an eclipse. We're not. They're saying because they're about all the talk. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles Brobst in the house. What is up, buddy? How the hell you got? How the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, eclipse on the New Madrid line. Ooh, yeah, and we're really close to that too. Damn. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, where are we going to be on the eighth? Everyone order one of their shirts. Damn it! <laughs> Tell them, guy. Doomsday scenario. Force con conversion to digital currency. See, there's so many things you could do. Uh, time you see me, my beard, maybe longer than yours. Really, Heath? Oh, really? Damn it, okay, man. nice. Okay, you're working on uh, it. Matthew Mickler, parts of <laughs> Black Autumn take place in Arizona. Yeah, Black Autumn, but that line, that's Utah. But yeah, it could work too. What's a good place? I don't know much a book. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting ready to bury my wife in PA. On the oh, Charles, I didn't know she passed, oh, buddy. I'm really yes. sorry to hear that, man. Yes, I heard. I don't Facebook much. He didn't look at it, and I'm yeah. really sorry to hear that, buddy. Yeah. Wow, I hate to hear that for you. Mm -hmm. Charles is a good guy, folks, and mm -hmm. uh, he's a he's, he's a writer he's too, a quiet, and he's a writer too. I posted his books for him. Yeah. Get a skunk, Chris Lee alone. Uh, you I Bowen. asked about a skunk. He he screamed no for some reason. 
but a raccoon yeah. or a prairie dog's okay. Which one should I get? Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> prairie dogs are tinier, but they do chew shit up. I was like, at least it can't crawl all over the walls and chew shit. But then we watched a video shit. that showed them chewing shit. Of course, going to chew shit. That's what they do. They chew shit. Just you know. raccoons don't. They don't chew stuff. They don't. Neither do to. squirrels when they're in the camper. No, squirrels have to chew. You they... always said they don't chew in here. Now all of the upholstery says otherwise. But you just always said they don't chew in here. Yeah, at first I didn't think they did. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> but now I know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. No, we do not, Chris Singletary. I don't need a doodle. We don't need a dog. I was very dogging on my way home today. <laughs> Did you make it in time, <laughs> Russell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the Civil War Two movie is coming out soon. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried long distance VHF SSB? If not, get up with me. VHF SSB? Yeah, okay. Just simplex. That's easy enough to do. Get a Furby. Yeah. They would be um, cheaper. What is that? Remember the little toys? Oh, the toy. Yeah. Look. Furby. I mean, I've heard of human. Those are furries. They're different. Oh, okay. <laughs> one's a Furby, one's a furry. I don't, okay. I don't uh, Byron, Brian, it's, they're they're legal in a lot of states. There's only a few where they're not, but you know. Yes, and like raccoons are illegal in a lot of states. Yeah, which we wouldn't be able to go into, but no, you just don't tell them that you, that you have, have a one. raccoon locked up in your camper, trashing it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it. I won't let it trash it. I promise. <laughs> I'll I'll screw it. I'll squirt it with a little squirter. You want to squirt it with a little squirter? I'll, I'll beat it with that. Okay. That. Tag said, yeah, get a hot little furry. <laughs> That's right, Tag. Now you're talking. <laughs> Chia pet. Opie in the house. What is up, Opie? Hey, how are you doing? How's your wife? See, I like the way Jeff thinks. A pet rock. That's what we should have got you. You, If you would have got me a pet rock. Right, I said, like, you can't have another animal for 10 years. I would have that rock and I would have never thought about it again. It's your fault. Uh, <laughs> you should have got one. Okie dokie. Well, it's too late now. Okay, it'll wait forever. <laughs> I can wait out a furry dog. They live eight to 10 years, and raccoons live 10 to 20 in captivity. And I'm I mean, I do like to give them rich cracker, crackers and make them fat. You know, I like little fat animals. <laughs> now, nah, her, Patrick, it was her uh, trash pandas are delicious. Uh, Patrick, it was her possum that she let go in the garden. Uh, I didn't let him go on purpose. Click but, you know. I can't figure out the grill Morgan used in book one. Most things you mentioned, Gorilla Put is a thing. Go put Gorilla Put in yeah. Amazon. It'll come right up. They're a company. That's all they make. It's there. Foxes. Matthew, um, no, foxes fucking stink. They stink. And yeah, Vince knows the guy. Get a tiger. Vince knows the <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, we're not. No. You're not helping, Chris. Uh, Shut yeah. up. <laughs> I did want a big cat. A big cat in the camper would be okay. We could do that. Uh, Ari's asking about <laughs> the Chinese National. They caught him 29 bombs. Yeah, yeah. And then you guys, you saw the dude crash the gate of FBI headquarters and one of the FBI region offices the other day too um did you guys see where where biden got caught on a hot mic saying do not stop the crossing of middle-aged males into the country and he said we will go to texas with f-15s and fight them if we have to now i don't know if that's a legit video or a legit thing but it was being reported around the other day and, and well, supposedly it's him be. on a hot mic you know should be right uh, other but he had the hyena and what else? What Chris, I'll have to holler at somebody to get the names of them. Do what? What do you think about it? Should it be like that? Should. What were you just talking about? I don't know. You're asking me a question. I don't know what you're asking me. Oh, okay. Sorry, I might have forgot what I just said. Uh -huh. What are we talking about? Um, <laughs> the Cessna full of explosives that crashed at that refinery in Russia. How do they fly a Cessna over the border? 
well, it very well could have come from inside Russia, and it was probably remotely being controlled. I mean, the Russians are taking um, BMPs and stuff and wiring them up remotely and filling them with tons of ordnance and just trying to crash it into the Ukrainian line. So you can control anything, you know, remotely. Um, that sentence is way too long for but yeah. Gorilla put link. I don't have the link. Yeah, it was remote control. It, yeah, it, of course it was. It should have the link. It should be on your website. Oh, well, yeah. If you go to angryamerican.com, look in the store, you'll find the gorilla put there. Should be. Um, Only ran over that once. Just once, right? Yeah, you didn't run over it. <laughs> yep. Slip but he slip. lays that out to dry behind your vehicle. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when Mel's driving around the yard, you better have all your shit picked up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, Dennis. Yeah, they're shipping them. You know, that's human smuggling, right? And that what? Isn't that the definition of human smuggling? They're bringing in illegals, putting them on planes and buses, and sending them oh, around yeah. the country and unloading them. Mm -hmm. So, same thing. No, yeah. the link did not, uh, Corey. Mm -hmm. I don't think you, YouTube will let you post links and comments anymore. Actually, yeah. so oh, the food's still in the truck. Have remote control, ma. Oh yes, actually, um, they have this Roomba that's a remote control vacuum and mop. But our place is so small here in the camper. Yeah, we, don't, really we need don't need that. Yeah. I have a broom and a well, a vacuum. Yeah, we have a vacuum, and, and you have a Swiffer. A Swiffer, yeah. Uh, why would you be anywhere in the yard when Mel's driving around anyway? <laughs> yeah, you're best to be. <laughs> Um, and a different zip code. Fuck you. <laughs> they're going to start giving $500 a month per immigrant for you to house them here in Michigan. And they're starting to say that they might pay immigrants the 500 to house immigrants. And they're possibly coming up with a New York style gift card, credit card for them all. Wow. $500. Fuck you. You know what? I've heard that. What up, kid? So much much more. More. Well, they give yeah. them. Yes. They give them all, like, they get a debit card or, like, a prepaid card, like, I've five heard, G's on it. I've heard 50. I, well, I've heard up to 15, but I'm going to stay on the low end. Still, 5,000 is too, too fucking much money. Yeah. I We're not five, getting that. No. Yeah, nobody else is. Richard Bailey says, I find it hard to believe four Muslims were able to have automatic weapons inside Russia without getting caught. Are you kidding me? You, you probably don't understand the size of the Russian Muslim population. Um, a lot of those stands in there, Tajikistan and all that kind of stuff, Uzbekistan and all them places, um, they're they're Muslim and they're right there. So and getting a clash in Russia is not hard. So um let me see. All right, he says I'm in Janice County, Michigan. I've heard we will be adding 40% to our population. They are buying and filling all the trailer parks of the league. Uh yeah. We can't stand for this. They're also That's giving American. zero down and zero percent interest on buying houses and fifteen thousand to some of them. Kim says, "How do we not? I mean, we're not doing anything. I'm not doing anything to object to this. Um, yet, you know. Well, they're going to keep doing it until enough people get loud enough about it to make them it. stop." But it's in two. The current administration uh, is hopefully going to be changing. Well, but very they, shortly. But right now, they don't give a shit about this country or Americans. That's not no, what they but, care about, and yeah. and they're actively True. trying to destroy it for some reason. Right. I don't really know what. They, well, they're just trying to catch us up with the rest of the world. Is what they're trying to do, because the rest of the world is right. ten, and in some cases, twenty years ahead of yeah. us, as far as like tyrannical governments and loss of rights and all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I look into sugar gliders. No sugar yeah, gliders, Brian. We've done those. Don't like them. Don't care for them. Chris um, says, had them as pets. We should have an illegal season. American should get 200 tags to start. Oh. I like your thinking. Where can we meet up and create a group? Chris, Chris Brown. Um, <laughs> I think they're, I think they're telegraphing intents, but they're so far off that it's retarded to think Texas and California are going to team up. Ain't going to happen. Um, 
What movie was that? Civil War II. Uh, yeah. Um, Not gonna happen. They will keep doing it to build, yeah, to build a fighting force and turn towns and regions into Muslim havens. Yes, they will. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. Yeah, it would not be hard to start one, Chris. Yeah, it's they're, they're yeah they're gonna keep doing what they're doing until enough people make enough noise. Uh, Cloward Piven strategy nailed it, Charles. Yep, yep, absolutely nailed it. What's those boogaloo? What are those boogaloo boys? The boogaloo boys. Yeah. What about How do you become one? <laughs> you don't want to. Too high, too high profile. You don't don't get into shit like that. I know, furred. That's the way it works. <laughs> the nail that sticks up always gets hammered down. <laughs> so for now, it's time to paint your ass white, put your head down, and graze with the rest of the antelope. Oh, until the real fighting starts. Exactly. Well, we don't need to go and start the real shooting. They're going to start the real shooting on for us, and then you know. Somebody will. Mm -hmm. <sighs> And yes, Kim, it will not be state versus state, and it will be a hot fucking mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it will oh, be yeah. fucked up. So, I and personally, I don't know. As an American, I think all states should be the same in America. I think every state should be exactly the same. Well, that's not the purpose of having separate states. I don't know what, but the United States. The, yes. So the United States, states that got together like, and united and said states, think nations, same thing. So 50 individual nations that just got together and said, hey, we're all together. We're a gang. But each one has different rules. As they should not. As, they should as not. If they, United States of America, they shouldn't. We, it, we should all be the same across the board. Everything should be legal. <laughs> you know, right? Cat, that will be legal. Cat's talking about Sue's story last night, playing bait <laughs> in the job. If you guys didn't catch the podcast, go back and watch it towards the end, just for the story of Sue Maru uh, being put out of bait by Carl Erickson, which Carl didn't know he was putting him out for bait, but Sue was volunteering to go be bait and was drawing sniper fire intentionally so they could get try to pinpoint a sniper's position. Yeah, and uh, the story was hilarious. Any final update on the pistol brace issue? As far as I know, that's a done deal unless your state does something with it. The feds can call. Oh, yeah. Um, the small groups basically wandering around, whacking others that are different, closed bumper stairs, flags. On. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, that's exactly how it'll go down. Mm -hmm. That's what you've always said. You're like, it's going to yep. start with people just getting whacked because of the stickers on their car target indicators you know? yeah mm -hmm. that's why we don't have many we have an upside down flag you know well, that's you know debatable and not going to draw too much um, attention what else do i have on my car <laughs> have your logo angry american yeah. big huge angry american logo one of these days guys i'll get carl <laughs> shit face and get him to tell baboon alley um that because that's a fucking hilarious story. Them getting ambushed by a troop of baboons, <laughs> and then turning they, that ambush onto the baboons. Yes, um, they, got revenge. they got fucked. The baboons <laughs> did not carry the day. Let's just put it that way. Uh, an A team of green berets carry some hate with them. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't spill that one yet. I mean, you'll find a way though. <laughs> Idaho checking in. Mike, what is up? Mad Mike. I mean, we might be out your way later this year. I'm trying to sort that out now. So you got any dirt on Joe from hanging out last week with him that I can razz him about? Oh, yeah. Patrick, you've got the perfect one, man. Um, What was he saying the other day about someone seeing him on my podcast? Just go, to, just walk up to him and do that and be like, dude, weren't you the guy on Angry America's podcast? That's how you'll get him. <laughs> Pinch his nuts with that one. And uh, that'll that'll fucking fire him up. <laughs> He's funny. He is a good storyteller, Christy. Yeah. Night attacks by Howard Monkeys in Panama. Fun times. Uh, if you ever meet Greg Carpenter, ask him about throwing rocks at monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about monkeys. 
I've experienced some. I mean, I'd like one, you know. What was that one we saw last night on that video? That orange one? Oh. It was so cute. That blue face. And shit. I don't know. It was that copper something monkey. Yeah. No, I don't know. Something. I don't know. It was cute as shit, though. He looked like um, when he pooped. That's who. That's who Mel saw when she no, saw No, you said you thought. His body, that was his face. It's, it's not, but his body. It's not his face, but his body it looks like when he pooped. I take him. That's who I, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, where can I get him? Mel thinks every animal she sees, she can walk up and hug. Yes. I, We're going to be best friends, you know, like any three-year-old things. I love the buffalo in Wyoming. We've all been friends. I've never had a non-friend experience with an animal. Oh, except, except for the one. Fucking raccoon that you had to get rabies shots for. I did have to get rabies shots once, only once, for because I tried to catch a raccoon. That was cute. Oh, Patrick, but, I did not know that, and that's gonna make me do something now. You're gonna make well, me do something for this weekend. What I'm are you gonna, doing? I'm gonna say it on here, just something for Joe. Oh, okay. Cheryl Hoke in the house. Oh, hey. Are we going to see Joe this weekend? Is he there yeah. Too? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. You can hug any <laughs> animal once, Corey says. <laughs> this, yeah, this trip is, is, there's some cigars and whiskey this round. Oh, it's yes. Gonna be, okay. It's gonna we be got proper. a lot of cigars. Yeah, and so do they. Okay. Uh, and you can grab one of those wild herpy monkeys on the river over there. No, no. Uh, I always wanted to go there until I heard they heard, had herpes. And then I was like, nah. Robert Roper in the house. What no. about and Patrick, I know, I think a Bucky's combat patch would be cool. Um, it needs to be like Operation Bucky's or something like that, you know. Who goes to Bucky's in the books? Nobody. But Not yet? We, well, no, Bucky's didn't exist. And they can't. Yeah, never they can't. They'll never. That's sad. That's really sad. I have lots of stickers. Wish someone would fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, yes, Jen. I just took a picture today of a camper next to us who had a huge sign on the side of the camper that said something about fuck around and find out, you know. See you later, John. Yeah, this, yeah, this oh, fuck around and find out surveillance. Surveillance, yes. Yeah. It was funny. He says monkeys are great. Just like grandchildren, you can give them back after a few hours. Um, who do you give your monkey back? Yeah, You're a monkey they, that you own. Like, not if they live with you. I'm I mean, sure fucking monkey. Picture. You're stuck with it. Give it to anybody. Yeah. We're stuck with this animal we're getting. I want a raccoon. Then why'd you buy a fucking prairie dog? Because that's what you let me get. And it's a down payment on a raccoon. Choke yourself. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Come on. Come you on. want a raccoon too? No, I don't. I've had one before. I know what a pain in the ass they are, My and what little nice. shits they can be. No, yours will be just like fucking Clyde. No, it'll fucking hate me. No, no. fuckery monkey business <laughs> sounds like a good name for a bar. <laughs> the monkey probably wouldn't spill as much shit as Mel. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Yeah, I live in Alaska, and so far we still have our basic freedoms. Yeah, you, know, you think you do, really. Stop paying your prior taxes. I heard Alaska just got like 50 things put on them. You know, for instance, after, after a few hours with a monkey, I'm going to start training it to attack my ex. Yeah, absolutely. Here, Koi Pliskin in the house. What is, uh, one of the coolest names out there. Can you trade oh, yes. up to a monkey? <laughs> Wendy, you're not helping either. Chris, take her phone from her, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, did you hear about the 90-pound gray wolf a guy shot thinking it was a coyote somehow in southern Michigan <laughs> along the Ohio port? No. Wow. That, and 90 pounds is not a big wolf. Mm. Uh, not really. That's not a big That's a giant coyote. Yeah. But not a big wolf. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big dog, but that's not a big one. They get a lot fucking bigger. They can, yes. <laughs> Stand that goddamn tall. Dude. John Simmons in the house. What? Hey, hey. you going to be at SOE, bro? Hey, so, Wendy. Up your neck of the woods, dude. You're going to be at SOE? I hope you are, because we're going to be there this weekend. So, 
come on out to SRF at SOE. Get in the hot tub when we get back. My hot tub, which I have begged for two years to have in the garden, um, I finally yeah. got. Mm -hmm. And we used it mm -hmm. out and about. Um, and I put it in the garden. I haven't been able to use it, which is not your fault. I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. If it's fault. set it's up, that would be my fault. It's not, no, just having been, I've been, I had surgery, yeah. and I can't get in the hot tub right now. Still can't. He's asking what you're gonna name the coon. Okay, so oh, I'm getting a coon. Oh, he said it. You heard him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted a coon. I didn't see you're getting a coon. I said he asked what you were gonna name a coon. I, I know, but yeah. But I said name a coon. I didn't say your coon. <laughs> Same thing. Anyway, I don't know. We're I'm working on that or a prairie dog whatever i get all right john well, that's um, awesome bro i can't wait to see you there and patrick and you know even what brush peter would say uh wow. thermal man if you're gonna get a weapon mounted optic get a thermal yeah night vision you need to uh but well, that's more for general maneuvering and, and, and surveillance whereas your thermal is target acquisition identification and engagement so but you do need both, but I know that's a bitch to overcome for a lot of folks. So. Financially, too. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, it's just that alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Artie says, if your camo is any good during the day, it's going to be even more effective at night. Um, typically, movement is what gives away you at night, especially with people's nods. Um, depending on the quality of their nods, like, if, if you're 100, 200 meters from them, 100 meters even, if you stand up against the trunk of a tree that shade is and you don't move, they're probably not going to see you. With thermal, they got that ass. Uh, you're not going to hide from that. And I'm going to be doing a review on a really good thermal here soon. Um, this is not a weapon-mounted thermal. This is a handheld. Uh, my, yeah, my purpose is for wanting a thermal a little different. Um, I don't want... I do actually want a dedicated night rifle with a thermal on it but the thermal that i want to put on my rifle is hell of expensive so i'm both how much is that probably 10. so but i'm going to be getting another set of nods also put another book out yeah and i need to write something or something 13. Yeah. <laughs> jason spars but we'll be there tomorrow afternoon man we're gonna I gotta be in Nashville for a thing on the TV in the morning, and then we're heading that way. We'll get our yeah. camper set up, and then we'll be over there to drop off yeah. and pick out our spot there, or find our spot wherever they point to. Mm -hmm. So, but that's all. That all we got. You got anything exciting? Okay. Anything happening? You guys got any last? I'm getting questions? a raccoon out of here. Are you Escabana? Es Canaba, is Canaba in the moonlight? Jeff, I, I think you're talking shit. Listen Thermal, you see your footprints. Yes, you can. 13, listen to the lady. Oh my God. Book 13. Yo, the book 13. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so yeah, so we'll catch you guys uh, next week. Next week, we will be somewhere else. We won't be in Nashville. No, who knows where. Well, when's the eclipse happening? When's the end of the world happening? In As four days, they're from now. saying they're preparing Friday, us. Saturday, Sunday, it's Monday. The eclipse four. is Monday. We're gonna be right here. Where are we sitting? No, we're leaving here tomorrow morning. I'm sorry. We'll yeah, we'll be sitting in Camden, <laughs> not here. You're correct. You we're don't going know to Camden. where but, he's going. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, this this no, kind of no. I'm not the planning guy for <laughs> shit like this. If this was something critical and like like I mean when by critical I mean like life and death shit, I can plan that and make it happen. This planning out trips and where I got to, I don't fucking even want to do it. So I'm really good. Thank God I got Russ and Holly. Yeah. And Mel, because it's the three of them that keep me going. And uh, Holly keeps everybody in line. Russ does the legwork and Mel cracks the whip to remind oh me to do shit when I need to be doing it. Are you working? How's this character in the books going? Don't worry about he's it. Like, I told you. He's like, stop asking. What would Morgan do? Okay. <laughs> Stop asking. 
I will. I have. I just know. I'm just saying that all I said. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know. You're when is the next book scheduled to be out? James, James, James. Uh, and uh, later this year, sometime mm. this year. Anyway, like I said, you guys know the drill. Be good. Be good at it. We will catch you next time. Peace.